All right, guys, what's going on? So you know that later on this week, uh, Shadowverse, they're getting their new expansion for Fortune's, uh, excuse me, the new mini expansion for Fortune's Hand. So we got a bunch of cards coming out, but that is not what we're talking about today. We're going to be talking about some changes that came or that some changes that are coming to some cards in the meta, and I'm a little surprised at some of these. Um, so let's take a look real fast. So three cards are getting changed in the uh, in in the game, basically. The first one is going to be Terraformer. So before, uh, Terraformer's effect was that if at, if at least uh, four cards are fused to this card, destroy an enemy. So again, Terraformer, you know, you fuse cards to him, he gets buffed, and then uh, if you fuse enough cards to him, he gets the effect of destroying one follower when he comes out into the field. Um, that's being changed. So now they're saying that if at least four cards are fused to this card, destroy an enemy follower without ward i don't know if the terraformer is going to be played anymore that that seems like a pretty significant nerf i thought maybe they would just change it to something like do x damage to enemy follower with ward or enemy follower but nah, it's you can't touch anything with ward anymore and honestly i don't know if terraformer has the ability to run cards to get rid of all the wards then play terraformer and not just die in the meantime it's going to push terraformers back a couple of turns because they're going to need to clear ward if you have one up and that might be pretty difficult considering they have to just keep clearing stuff until they can buff this guy up does the deck see more play probably not um uh, i imagine i think we were talking about it before in chat that the um people are probably gonna start playing roach a bit more roach might be uh the better alternative or the better choice for forest craft right now yeah i'm really surprised about this one this this is like a pretty significant nerf so i can't say that i'm happy with it i also i don't like losing to terraformer but at the same time if you're trying to play terraformer this is significant like this means like victory is like turn nine turn eight you, you have to clear all the wards first if you can if your opponent can keep putting up wards then you just lose the game or you can build up followers to clear wards. I, I don't know. Something to think about. But yeah, so that's Terraformer. The second one is going to be Cloister Sacrishin. This is like the unsung hero. I can't, I can't even call him unsung because he's definitely sung about. Like Cloister Sacrishin, he's it's like Shadowcraft do, is doing work because of this card. This plus Miltio on five when this pops on the Crystallize is pretty strong. So the, before the effect is, or currently the effect is, burial right, randomly destroy one of the follow enemy followers with the highest attack in play, and restore three defense to your leader. Now, the when he evolves on burial right, you just restore three defense to your leader. So no longer is uh, Cloister Sacristan going to do destroy a follower. He's just going to heal you a little bit, which means when you evolve him, you have to run him into something. So he's going to be a weaker ward once you evolve him, just because you ha instead of just, you know offing an enemy follower, you have to run him in himself. Might make it a little bit more difficult for Shadow to clear some boards as well. He's you usually could have just like depended on him to clear the biggest follower and then just like pick off the rest with your board and then just buff everything at the end of the turn with Fearin. Uh, it's, I mean he doesn't he doesn't lose much as far as like being able to pop and create these massive boards with Miltio on five. So I guess that's good, but at the same time, they do lose a little bit of removal, which means that. You're going to have Shadow trading into your boards more often. Uh, actually, this one seems pretty tame to me, honestly. I mean, that that's a, that, again, that, that's a, that's a pretty significant change, but I still think even after this change, Shadow, Shadow sees play. It'll just be harder for them to, to run things in. For example, if your opponent has a, a Evolve Plesiosaurus out, you can't just, you know, rely on a closer Sacrosyn to just remove it. Things like that, will, will, those interactions will definitely change on the board. And then the last one, guys, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I don't know anything about Loki. Like, someone told me this while I was uh, playing games earlier, and I was like, is Loki a card in rotation? It doesn't, I don't remember a card with that name. And so this is definitely just for Unlimited. So before, Loki was an 8 cost 5-5, five, five, who had the ability to give your lead to the following effect. The next time you play an allied follower with the fanfare with fanfare effects, excluding targeted effects, repeat those effects. So Loki was kind of cool in that he just doubled uh, the effects that you had or that you could get. Him being reduced to a five-five, I guess, makes him more competitive in unlimited play because 
typically you're not going to make it to turn 8 in the limited. So, yeah, maybe he sees a bit more play. It looks like his effect has also been changed so that after uh, the buff or the change, it'll have fanfare give the leave the following effect. The next time you play a follower with fanfare effects, excluding choose and targeted effects. So now choose effects are no longer, they no longer apply. Repeat those effects. So he got buffed in his cost. He got nerfed in his effect, though. So the choose effects will no longer fly, but the... I don't know. What's left after that? Just, like, if you can't target anything, you can't choose anything, it... I guess that's just to make it more tame. Otherwise, it'd be pretty crazy for some of the, some of the effects. But, yeah. So there you go. Again, I don't know much about Unlimited, guys. If you know, if you do know about Unlimited, let me know if this is a big change for, uh, for that uh, format. I'm a rotation boy. I try to stick out of the stay out of the Wild West uh, that is unlimited. But again, let me know in the comments below if this is significant for those guys. The first one, I think, is definitely going to shake up the uh, the rotation meta quite a bit. So probably going to see more roaches, less massive mantises ripping through people, and we're going to see shadows trading into boards more often than before. All right, so again, thanks thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Do the subscribe, like thumbs up, hit the bell, all that stuff for the video. I'll catch you next time. Peace.